table. Maybe times I've done it. I wasn't trying to embarrass you. I was just giving you a clue. Oh, I felt like an idiot in front of everyone. How am I supposed to know who wrote The Stranger? Oh, but nobody cares that you didn't know the answer. I don't know why we play that stupid game every time we go to their house. Anyway. It gives Vince a chance to wave his college degree in my face. But at least have stayed for dessert. and get out of here. Dad! We weren't doing anything. How much have you had a drink? A little. I told you I never wanted to see him here again. You completely disobeyed me. You never got mad when I was with Danny. Is it that you don't like Eric? Is that Danny would never have been in there like that. Well, you just never caught us. This is not about which boyfriend we like better. This is about trusting you when we're away. You're grounded for two weeks for this. Mother! Go to bed! What are you Sleep it off! <sighs> this is getting out of hand. I, I'm too tired to get into this now. I'm going to bed. Right. Are you coming? In a while. Well, you know, I'd promised to rehire Steve when business picks up, but uh, well, what if business doesn't pick up? Have you seen my briefcase? Um, oh, here it is. Listen, Laura, these stupid stunts like the one you pulled last night have got to stop. Do you understand me? You know how critical your senior year is to getting into the right college. And we have four weeks to send in those letters of recommendation. You're on top of those, right? Yes. I'm not going to do all this by myself, you know. Tonight we work on Northwesterns and Wisconsins. I'm counting on you, young lady. Maybe I'll hold on to him till the end of the month. Well, maybe things will pick up. I'm showing at house at 5.30, but I should be home in time to make dinner. I'm going to work. This time I promise. I'll see you later. Mm -hmm. Got him late. So am I. Don't forget your lunch. I'll just grab something at school. Try not to make it french fries. in yesterday's assignments. You flunked the midterm, Laura. I don't know if I can let you make it up. I mean, you're so far behind. I understand. I don't. You were one of the top students in my class last year. Look, I know what your brother went through. And I just don't want to see you start down the same path. I'm just burnt out, that's all. I talked to Mr. Carlson about this. I'm required to tell him when things slide this far. You know the policy. Yeah, whatever. I'm late for calculus. Are you okay? Ever wonder what it would be like to be somebody else? Someone else? What do you mean? Somebody else. Somebody different. Different family, different school, different looks. Everything. I don't get it. How could you be someone else? Forget it. You know, you gotta give it a rest, Laura. You've been talking crazy lately. Really. Maybe I am crazy. Hey, isn't that your dad over there? Don't tell me it's his cousin, right? <laughs> Stop. 
get out of here. <laughs> Hi, it looks like I'm not going to make it home after all. I know, don't say it. Um, the Northwestern application is in my desk. Uh, why don't you get started on it, Laura, after dinner? Uh, Laura? Salad's in the fridge you? and lamb chops are defrosting. Bye. Yeah? Come in here. We need to talk. So, is there something you want to tell me? No, why? Well, I got a call from your uh, guidance counselor, Mr. Carlson. He says you're barely passing any of your classes. You've been ditching school. He wants to see your mother and me Wednesday afternoon. Dad, don't worry. I'm not going to flunk any of my classes. That's exactly how David started. You know, first it's the grades, then it's... No, I'm not stealing things or doing drugs. Why don't you guys just line up? We have a serious, a serious problem here, Laura. What are we going to do about it? Nothing. Just don't worry. Don't worry. Well, that's just great. You tell that to your mother. She's only been helping you fill out applications for college for the last month. I never asked her to help me fill out those applications. Laura! Hey, Laura, get back here! I couldn't really get you that much because Mom has no time to go to the store lately, but got you some canned stuff and a little iron in the garage. Cool, I could use that, thanks. So how things in the squirrel cage? Don't ask. I feel like I can't breathe in that house. What's up? I just can't wait to get out of there. All Mom talks about is what college am I going to go to? She makes such a big deal about me being the first in the family to go. I guess I kind of left you that honor, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, thanks. If I hear Mom saying that she's counting on me one more time, I think I'm going to explode. I should be so lucky. What do you mean? Mom never said anything like that to me. When I was about 13, I guess, Bill Turner and I broke into Dad's liquor cabinet after school. We drank a whole bottle of his bourbon. It was the first time I ever drank. I was so wasted. And Mom came home early and busted us, and after she sent Bill home, she came up to my room with this really serious look on her face. I was pretty scared. And she said, David, I always knew you were going to be the loser in this family. I don't think she meant it. Oh, yeah, she did. And that wasn't the last time I heard that from her, either. After that, I don't know, I just started getting in trouble a lot. Nothing seemed to matter anymore. But hey, getting out of that house was the best thing I ever did. Now that I got a job and everything, I'm going to get my own place. That's what you said last time. Last time I'm serious. Besides, Stuart said I can only stay in the back of the shop till the end of the month. Guess I'm running out of friends to hit up. Well, you could always come back home. Yeah, right. That'll be the day. Yeah, I guess it's not a very good idea. Real bad idea. Where have you been? Out? Out where? You're grounded. You saw David, didn't you? He's my brother. I'm allowed to see him, aren't I? How are you planning to get into college without finishing high school first? I plan on finishing high school. Not with F's in all your classes. You're I'm not, not getting I... F's in all Don't of my Don't lie to me. What the hell has gotten into you? Do you want to end up like your brother? Do you want to throw your life away? He hasn't thrown his life away. He's got a good job now. Right, washing dishes. You're such a snob. Listen to me. Is that what you want? Because that is exactly how you're going to end up if you don't get into a decent college. Maybe I won't go to college next fall. Maybe I won't go to college at all. <sighs> you don't even know what you're saying. Go to bed. We'll talk about this in the morning. <sighs> Has she been moody, secretive, depressed lately, hanging out with different friends? Yes, all of those things. Needless to say, we're very concerned. Well, I know that we discussed this option when you were having problems with David, and I understood your reluctance then, but a residential treatment facility such as Meadowbrook has been having terrific success in dealing with these types of behavior disorders. You might want to reconsider getting some professional help this time. I have to tell you, I feel very uncomfortable about this. I 
just don't like to think that we could uh, handle any problems ourselves. I understand, but I do have to be honest with you. I've seen these types of sudden behavior changes in kids, and oftentimes it's a cry for help. If that cry goes unheard, it could lead to self-destructive behavior. Nowadays, with teen suicides at epidemic proportions, I just think we all have to look closer at these types of warning signs. Robert, come up here, now! Where'd you find this? In her desk. Well, what were you doing in her desk? Looking for something. Drugs, anything. Answers. What's well, only a poem? What's a Read it. Feeling so small that I know it'd be better for everyone if I just wasn't here at all. Just a poem, huh? W well, she couldn't really be talking about suicide. I'm gonna talk to her. School. Fine. Can we talk for a minute? Sure. I know we've had our problems lately. But I want you to know that you can always come and talk to me about anything. No matter how bad it is. Yeah, I know that. I know breaking up with Danny was tough on you. And uh, sometimes it's good to talk about that stuff. Um, if you feel like talking about it, you can. <laughs> I would like it if you did. Remember when I broke up with this guy in high school, Doug Warner, and I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> I'm fine, I really don't need to talk about it. You sure? Yeah. Well, just wanted you to know that I'm always here for you. I'm gonna do my homework. I'm grounded, remember? What is it? What well, says here that Laura never took the SATs? What? No, this is a mistake. I'll call school. Mom, what are you doing? When were you planning to tell us about the SATs? <sighs> I was gonna tell no. I was gonna... No more excuses. No more explanations. I don't want to see you now. I don't want to hear your voice. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I don't care where you're going. I don't know if I can ever forgive you for this.
seen him like that. Mm -hmm. Can't go home. My roommate's not coming home till Thursday, so you can stay here. It's late. Let's go to bed. No, you know, why don't I just sleep on the couch? What's wrong? <laughs> I just told you that I can't go home. Mm hmm And my life is totally messed up. Mm hmm Look, I just need a friend right now, right? Hey, I am your friend. I'm the best friend that you've got. Look, I said no. It's laying around. This is the perfect opportunity. We got the whole place to ourselves. I can't believe that's all you're interested in. You never cared about me. Oh, don't be so selfish. What am I doing here? What about me? What about you? I'm fine. Yeah, the officer said that your blood alcohol level was very high. Your father and I have made a decision. We're going to get you some help. We're sending you to a place called Meadowbrook. Self-esteem, life management skills, leadership qualities, these are the goals at Meadowbrook. Now, we don't know yet the extent of Laura's problem. The behavior you have seen may be the tip of the iceberg, or it may just be growing pains. But I assure you, our success rate here is impressive. Often the two-week evaluation period is more than enough to take care of the problem. At Meadowbrook, we really do turn lives around. Yes. Thank you. Very good. Your insurance is more than adequate. I love you, sweetheart. I can't believe you're doing this to me. I hope you understand we only want what's best for you, sweetie. Don't even try, Mom. How can they do that? Well, what do they say to the insurance company? She'll be all right. It's just two weeks. The important thing is she's getting help. Dr. Winslow, I don't know what my parents told you, but I really don't belong here. You know, Laura, I think it best that for the time that you're here, that you try to make the most of it. Now, consider it a break for you and your parents. Time to sort things out. Okay. Okay. This is Miss Collins. She'll help you settle in. All right? Okay. All right.
Cut her, please. What's that for? It's procedure. Everybody gets it. It's just something to relax you. What are you doing with my clothes? They're inappropriate. We have a dress code here. No dresses and skirts, nothing provocative. No shorts, no makeup, no jewelry. Only long pants and shirts with the appropriate sleeve lengths are allowed. Now, why don't you get undressed and we'll finish getting you settled in. What do you mean, get undressed? I mean, take your clothes off. Excuse me? Strip search. It's routine. Nothing to worry about. Honest. Here, put this on. We have five status levels here at Meadowbrook. With each level, you get more privileges. You're at level one. Earn 100 points and you move to the next level. You just earned 10 points for cooperating back there. See how easy it is? If you behave, you get privileges. Phone calls, snack privileges, maybe even off grounds. Talking with other patients will be confined to social hour from three to four daily. That's all. While you're here, there'll be no TV, no radio, no mail, no visitors. I think we'd better get a grip on napping in the middle of the day. Thank you, Miss Collins. I will modify my behavior. Your dresser, your bed. Now, if you follow the rules, you and I will get along just fine, okay? Group in 15 minutes. Look, I can't talk to you, okay? Why not? Because I don't want to lose any points. I'm almost on level four, then I get my own room. Fine. We don't have to talk. Did you get anything past him? Like what? You know, cigarettes, pot, anything? <sighs> Even if I wanted to, believe me, it looked everywhere. There's ways around that, you'll see. Well, at least you got a little buzz going though, right? Yeah, I feel like I've been run over by a truck. You're doing the thiazine shuffle, that's all. Just enough to mellow you out. If you didn't have a drug problem coming in, don't worry, you will going out. And we had totally different tastes in music, which was like this big issue with my old man. I mean, he thought I was worshiping the devil or something. He was into all this folk music, peace and love crap, with all of his friends that wore sandals and said far out all the time. <laughs> and I just couldn't take it anymore. So one day I took all of his records out and busted them up with a hammer in the garage. And how did that make you feel? It felt great. Oh. Yes, yeah, Marty. You have something you'd like to share? Well, I have a complaint to register. Fine. What is it? Well, you know that blue water stuff they have in the toilets here? The commercial says it's supposed to last 2,000 flushes, right? Well, I've been counting. The one in our room only lasted 879 flushes. Now, that's a difference of like 1,121 flushes. That's false advertising. I mean, I say there ought to be a lot of Thank you, Marty. Keep it up. You're going to be at level two for the rest of your life. Does anyone else have words of wisdom to offer? All right. We have a new member of our group joining us today. Stand up. You can introduce yourself to everyone by stating your name and admitting that you're an alcoholic. An alcoholic? What are you talking about? You got into a run-in with the police the other night. Crashed your car. It says right here that you'd been drinking. That's a mistake. I don't have a drinking problem. I don't even like the taste of alcohol. Group? Denial. 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 You either face up or shut up. Those are the only two choices you've got. CJ's right. The sooner you admit that you have a problem, the sooner we can get at some of the feelings that are at the source. I'm not going to stand here and say that I'm an alcoholic when I'm not. Fine. Your choice. Maybe you'd like to take a couple of hours and time out to think about it. You had 20 points toward a level two, Laura. This is going to cost you 10. Wait no, let's go. No, this is all a big mistake. Hey, don't go away, Mad. Just go away. Uh, I don't even belong here. Get your hands off me. <laughs> yeah, if I had a dollar for every time I heard that one.
You okay? I was just trying to put the zap on your head, that's all. I'm proud of what chapter did. Shane Meadowbrook. Food's bad, but there's plenty of it. That's just Naomi. She's weird. Yeah, I can see that. It's her nightly routine. What's wrong with her? I don't know. She snapped. Stopped talking a couple weeks ago. They got all upset about it, upped her meds. They can't handle it when you act nuts. They think she's faking it to get attention. Are we getting a grip on not giving our food away? I told you I didn't give my food away. I said, are we getting a grip on not giving our food away? Yes, Miss Collins. I will modify my behavior. I will modify my behavior. Good. When you finish this one, you can go back to your room. These places are all the same. I've been in and out of them since I was 13. Mm. What for? The usual. Fought with my mom a lot. I wasn't crazy or anything. Although I'm not so sure anymore. <laughs> but I'm out of this place. I've been working on it for a few weeks now. There's this ventilation grate in the main room. Leads out of the building. Every time I get a chance, I loosen one of the screws. A couple more days and I'm history. Up. Face the wall. What, you think you're special? Come on, face the wall. And after that, I don't know. I just started throwing up after every meal. Man, mom's cooking must have been pretty bad, huh? I just didn't want to get fat, that's all. Marty, that's not level two behavior now, is it? Huh? Let's try to get a grip on not making jokes in group. I'm sorry, I'll get a grip on not making jokes. Marty. Thank you, I'll modify my behavior. All right, Rachel, thank you. How about you, Laura? Do you feel like participating today? Do I have to? Well, if you want to get some of those points back, you're going to have to start participating. Maybe she thinks she's too good for us. Is that true, Laura? No. Look at her, you can tell. I knew girls like you in school. Stuck up, rich kids. Maybe she just hasn't got anything to say. Give her a couple of drinks, she'll loosen up. Laura, let me ask you something. Why do you think you're in here? I don't know. Well, I'll tell you why. Because your parents put you here. Because you're making their lives miserable. Because your own life has become unmanageable. You're an embarrassment to your friends, your family, everybody around you. They may not say that to you, but believe me, it's true. I mean, it's bad enough for your parents that your brother was a loser, now you. I don't have to take this crap. Where do you think you're going? I'm going to see Dr. Winslow. Nobody sees Dr. Winslow. Believe me, if he has to come in here, you're in a lot of trouble. You can't keep me here. It's against the law. Not if you're under 18. But hey, if you want to call a lawyer. They take me to a phone. Uh, I'm sorry, only level two. They're not used to the phone. Settle down, I won't have to sedate you. Now it's your choice. Go to hell! Get off me! No!
want to escape with you. Why would I let you do that? Because with the two of us loosening the screws, it'll go a lot faster. All right, but you got to be careful. They've got these security cameras everywhere. What the hell are you looking at? You got to figure out a way to get yourself into the main room when nobody's there. Best way is to get yourself in trouble so you get put on deep clean. How do I get myself in trouble? Better get a grip on not sleeping in the hall. Are you gonna answer me, huh? Or are you gonna play your usual games? <laughs> answer me. Hey, leave her alone. She's not gonna hurt anybody. You just got yourself two days in deep clean. <laughs> are you gonna answer me? Show's over. Everybody get back to your room. Come on. I want you to clean the entire floor. done right and you're doing it over. Ta, 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 ta. Oh man, would I love to give that cheese whiz a little kung fu action. <laughs> so, you keeping it together all right? Barely. You'll get the hang of it, don't worry. So what'd you do to him? What's the big deal about talking in this place? They don't want you to make friends. They want you to narc on each other. That's how you get points. Sides are totally sex paranoid in this place. Like if you're talking to someone, they think you're having sex. Yeah, right, I should be so lucky. <laughs> what did you do to get deep clean? Uh, I don't know, I, I found some stupid white out in one of the floor counselor's desks. What, were you like sniffing it? Sniffing it? No, I was, uh, I was gonna use it to paint this little house I built. What little house? It's this house I made out of an oatmeal box. I stole it from the kitchen. It's for Phoebe here. <laughs> hey. Hi. Oh, look, she's so cute. I named her after Holden Caulfield's sister, you know, from Catcher in the Rye. Ah. Hi. You know, you're really pretty. You're the prettiest girl in here. 
That's not a line or anything. I guess it is, but I didn't mean anything by it. But I meant it, though, really. Oh, thanks. Do you want to be friends? Because, uh, except for Phoebe here, I really don't have one. And it could be our secret. You know, we wouldn't have to talk or anything. We'd just know that we were there. You know, like, uh, like friends do. And like, um, like pen pals or something, separated by thousands of miles. What do you say? Yeah, I'd like to be your friend. Wow. <laughs> Hardly recognize a meal that doesn't come out of a styrofoam container. Well, I guess it's been a while since we sat at the dinner table together, huh? It's so hard for me to get out of the office before seven. This looks delicious. Is it me or does it seem too quiet in here? Mm -hmm. huh? Maybe we should um, turn on some heavy metal music upstairs and make us feel more at home. <laughs> I miss the kids. Yeah. I tried to call Laura today. Robert, you shouldn't have done that. You know what they said, she needs to be separated from us. I know, I couldn't help it. They said she was fine, but they wouldn't let her come to the phone. Well, I just hope she's really okay. Don't do this to yourself, Robert. We need to give this a chance. We have no other choice. It's only 11 more days. Yeah. But who's counting? What happened to her? Tried to off herself. Just probably cheek in her meds. You know, tucking the pills back against her cheek. When the attendant leaves, she spits them out. Then she saves them up and takes them all at once. <laughs> They'll pump her stomach. She'll be back here in two days. CJ? Maybe he likes you. I don't think so. It's different than that. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could drop kick a Range Rover. Who is he? Some jerk. Got here a few weeks ago. Spent the whole first week in the SR for mouthing off too much and fighting with the attendants. Made him so strung out, I don't think he knew what planet he was on. But now, all of a sudden, it's yes, sir. Anything you say, sir. Winslow's poster boy. So what about you? What about me? Why are you in here? Why'd you do that? I don't know. <laughs> some days I, uh... well, some days I, uh, I get all wired and I feel great. I feel like I could jump out of an airplane without a parachute and just fly for days, you know, and, and other days. <laughs> They call it bipolar. It's uh, manic depressive, you know. But I'm much, much better now, really. I mean, they make me take the meds here and they help a lot, so. 
I don't think I could ever do that to myself. What about you? Why are you in here? For being stupid. followed her out here. She tried to escape. <laughs> she tried to escape. We're not gonna hurt you. No, come on, stay with him. Calm down, we're not gonna hurt you. Calm down, we're not gonna hurt you. Parking lot and the trees on your right don't stop till you hit the road. Call the woman named Nora Fields. You're with the teen law office. Tell her what you've seen here. Everything. You got that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nora Fields. Wait. Come on. Wait, wait, wait. I already tried those. Just leave that to me. David, hi, it's me. Now, I know, I know it's early, I'm sorry, but I need you to come pick me up. It's a long story, I'll tell you when you get here. You sure you want to do this? You can always stay with me, you know? No, everybody's looking for me, I just want it all to be over. Bye. Mom? Dad? Baby. Oh, you wouldn't believe the terrible things Laura? that they did. They strapped us in chairs and they put straight jackets on us and they drugged us. What's wrong? She won't participate in the group sessions. She disobeys all the rules. She takes no interest in her own recovery. I can't believe that's Laura. Needless to say, the two-week evaluation period was a bit optimistic. We suggest that her stay be extended by at least a month. A month? Oh, I don't know. Uh... Mr. Mills, your daughter's behavior has become volatile. She's a danger to herself. She's a danger to others. She requires 24-hour supervision. Are you prepared to watch her for... Unless you say to me that you know what's best for your daughter, then I'll... No. She'd be safer there. How do we...
do we get her to understand that she needs his help? Let me talk to her. You're not taking me back there. Laura, the way I see it, you have two choices. You either come back to Meadowbrook without making a scene, or I call child services and you go straight to a juvenile detention center. And if you are uncomfortable at Meadowbrook, believe me, as I said, the choice is yours. I don't understand why you're doing this to me. Everything I told you was true. Wait. Call a woman named Nora at the team law office. She'll tell you everything. You're making the right decision. like that we did what we had to what if she's telling the truth about what goes on in there you really think kids are being drugged and strapped to chairs what if it isn't helping what if it's making her worse it has to work it has to otherwise we have lost everything that we've ever planned for her her whole future all of her dreams gone when did we ever ask her what her dreams were Laura? Laura? Hello, Laura. How are we doing? I'm strapped to my bed. How do you think I'm doing? Please, Laura. It doesn't have to be this difficult. You don't have to fight. Then let me out, and I won't. It doesn't work that way. You first have to acknowledge that you have problems and that you need our help. I need your help. You give us no choice but to continue this course of treatment. Dr. Winslow, this patient has had over 30 milligrams of phenothiazine in the last 24 hours. All right, let her rest. Listen, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but um, I just came by to see how Laura was doing, all right? She's not here. Oh, yeah? Where'd she go? You sent her back there, didn't you? I can't believe it. How could you do that to her? We were afraid she was going to kill herself. We had no other choice. What are you babbling about? Laura would never kill herself. What are you doing here, David? 
I told you not to set foot in this house until you'd paid don't back Don't worry, you don't have to lock up the silverware. I'm leaving. I just came by to see my sister. Leave Laura alone. I don't want you around her. You've done enough. Ooh, really? Hey, I hear the Mom of the Year Award's coming up. Maybe Laura and I will nominate you. But look at him. He never gets his hands dirty. He's the man of All stone. All right, David. That's Aren't it. you, Pops? Can leave now. If you think Laura's just going to waltz back in here and forgive you for what you've done, you're both insane. And you wonder why you're not welcome in this house. Oh, you make sure to remind me every chance you get. I was just nowhere near your neighborhood and thought I'd stop in for a cup of coffee. <laughs> Are you okay? Oh, shh. Come on, don't, don't cry. Hey, d do you believe in reincarnation? Because I do. I, I believe I'm going to come back after I die. And I'm coming back as a rock star. Michael Jordan, something. Next time's gonna be better. So when it gets real bad, you know, you think about that. Think about next time. Another chance. Get a grip. You belong in your own wing. You know the rules. Thank you, Dr. Winslow. I'll modify my behavior. have become unmanageable. You need therapeutic intervention. You can't handle this on your own. You know that now, don't you? I think you're ready to start cooperating. It's time to let go. You've gotten a grip on your anger, haven't you? Yes. I'm proud of you. You're going to be just fine. Let you out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want any more trouble. I'm just gonna do my time. Tell them everything they want to hear. Good. That's good. It's easier that way. Yeah. <laughs> they made me a level two for promising to cooperate. <laughs> Took me off the thiazine. So then, you know, you'll you'll be okay in here without me. What do you mean? I'm getting out. Today. What happened? <laughs> I don't know. They just told me to go pack my stuff. Oh, that's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my dad's going to come pick me up. We're going to go to our house. There's going to be a big party. Everyone's going to be there. You know, I'll give you my number. Now that you're in level two, you can call me, right? Yeah, yeah, I will. I promise. Great. You're going to be okay out there, aren't you? Me? Yes. Of course. I told you. I'm all better. Relief. Okay. Don't forget to take your meds. Yes, I will, I promise. Mom, I'm gonna miss you. You're the only friend I have in here. Well, 
we'll still be friends. We'll always be friends. Yeah? What do you want? Are you Norfield? Last time I looked. Oh, uh, I talked to your secretary earlier. My name is Robert Mills. I got your name from my daughter. She's a patient at uh, Meadowbrook, which is an adolescent treatment huh, center. I, I know what it is. Sit down. How'd your daughter get my name? I don't know, but she told me that uh, you knew all about these places. Is that true? I advocate for kids who've been wrongly placed in institutions like Meadowbrook, which, in my opinion, are most of them. That's not to say there aren't some good ones. There are. But I'm here for the ones that aren't. I mean, we're just a little David and Goliath thing here. You know, just Gladys and me, my secretary. Whole operation, so I'm clearly insane. Herbal. Disgusting. So, what can I do for you, Mr. Mills? Uh, my daughter, Laura, uh, tried to tell us that there are some pretty awful things that go on in these places, and uh, to be honest with you, I don't, I don't know what to believe. Well, if half of what she said was true, is that enough? <sighs> yeah, I guess it would be. I guess you got your answer. All right. <laughs> Let's hope for her sake that you got a lousy insurance policy. I'm sorry, I, I don't understand. Well, you see, the length of stay in these places seems to depend on how much the insurance will cover. Insurance runs out and presto still change up. Johnny is here. Right, well, how can they do that? That's not right. <sighs> Mr. Mills, would you buy a car without checking it out first? I mean, at least kicking the tires. No, of course not. Oh. Well, I hate to tell you this, but you just bought a lemon. What do you mean? Did they give you a tour of Meadowbrook? All right, Mr. Mills. I'm going to tell you a little bit about these private treatment facilities. to stay in here at the social hour. Thanks. So, did you get in trouble after the fire alarm? That? A uh, couple of days in SR, no big deal. Sorry. Forget it. You would have done the same for me, right? Listen, you have to stop getting the injections. Once they got you hooked on the big T, you're theirs. I'm not getting injections anymore. They're just giving me a couple pills. Good. You have to start cheeking them. Why do you care what happens to me? I just do, that's all. Come on. I went to see someone today. A woman from the teen law office. I think Laura was telling the truth about the things that go on in that place. Why are you doing this? 
She needs to be there to be watched 24 hours a day. These places like Meadowbrook are dumping grounds for parents looking for easy answers. Easy answers? Yeah, there's a lot of kids that don't even belong there. This, this woman, she was telling me that these hospitals, they overcharge and double bill the insurance until they bleed them dry and then they stamp cured on the kid's file and turn them loose. That's not happening at Meadowbrook. We were there. Honey, I think we ought to get her out of there and into some kind of family counseling. Always do this to me. We take a stand together and then you fold and I am left picking up the pieces. If it weren't for me, nothing would get done in this family. Hey, I work my ass off and every I day. Don't. I didn't say that. You know, if you had been there, if you had been available for your children, if you had been willing to take a stand just once, we wouldn't be in this mess. I have a responsibility to my child. She needs me to be strong for her and I'm going to be strong. Where are you going? Out. I was wondering if we could talk. Yeah, it's late. I know. Uh, I thought maybe we could get a beer. Sure. As long as it's non alcoholic. I heard uh, Stewart's dad gave you a job. Yeah. They got a big contract with the city. Need an extra hand. No, it's nothing much. It's just got me doing some grunt work for now, mostly sub metering, three phase wiring, stuff like that. Yeah, that's great. Look, I know you didn't bring me here to talk about my job. I know you brought Laura home the other day. Uh, David, I need to know, did she say anything about what goes on in that place? Yeah, she did. It's not like a concentration camp in there. And you believe her? She wouldn't lie to me. We were only trying to do what we thought was best. She thought was best? Wait till she gets out of that place and she has to go back to school where everyone knows she was in a nut house. It's getting late. I got to speak. No, wait, 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 wait. wait. I didn't come here just to talk about Laura. I came because I needed to talk to you. Look, David, I know how hard this has been for you. It hasn't been any easier for me. Your mother and I, we haven't said two civil words to each other since you left. So since it's my left. fault, huh? No, no, no. I have no one to blame but myself. You know, I, I know I haven't been the perfect husband or the perfect father. But I'd still like to think that you and I could. <laughs> it's a little late for you to try and be my dad, don't you think? I mean, it's not like we're going to go in the backyard and chuck the old football around. Yeah, you're right. But I'm still your father. You want me to let you off the hook? Fine, you're off the hook. I screwed up, I know that. Living with me was no picnic either. But I'm okay now. I'm not carrying any grudges. Things just turned out the way they turned out, you know? End of story. So you can just stop feeling sorry for yourself, okay? Thanks for the soda.
Hey, come on, let's go back to your room. Come on. Everything's gonna be okay. I should ask you the same thing. Listen, don't knock on me, please. Fine, tell me what you're doing in there. Look, why don't we just go back to our rooms and forget about everything, okay? Come on, the attendant comes by in 40 seconds. Fine. Thanks. Now we're even. Open. Tongue? I'm proud of the way you've been taking your medication lately. You've just earned yourself another 10 points. It's nice to have you joining us again, Laura. I don't suppose you're ready to start participating. Okay. My name's Laura, and I'm an alcoholic. No, listen, I, I, I've told you a hundred times, you know, I cannot do it anymore. That's it. I know, I know, I know, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, look, it's my fault, you know? I just, I, I have to get it together. I have a family. I gotta start being there for my kids, you know? No, I am sorry. It's over. That's it. Ah, Mr. Mills, what can I do for you? Well, I, uh, I've come to get Laura. Yes, is there a problem? No, 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 there's no problem. I, we just want her at home. We? Oui? Is your wife here? No, she couldn't come. I see. Have a seat. <clears throat> no, that's all right. I think I'll uh, stand. Mr. Mills? It is not advisable for you to take Laura out of here before her treatment is complete. Uh, just show me where to sign. I'm afraid it's not that easy. We have been authorized by you, her legal guardian, and your insurance company to perform a service. We have diagnosed her as being severely depressed. That's enough to mandate a stay here for up to six months. Six months? What, what are you talking about? Let me try to explain this as simply as I can. If you take Laura out of here against medical advice and she harms herself, you could be liable for negligence. You could lose custody of your daughter. Look, I I'll take my chance. Please, go get my daughter. I don't know what to tell you. I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Mills. I'm afraid I can't let you take her without your wife's consent. I'm so what are you talking about? There are two signatures here on the admissions form. Under state law, you two have joint custody. We'll need her signature. That's the law. My hands are tied. Phone privilege allows you three calls per week. All calls must be kept to under five minutes. Your conversation will be monitored. Hi, this is Dave. I'm not here to take your call, believe I got the machine. Can I make another call? Okay. Hello? Hi, is Marty there? Who is this? I'm a friend of his from Meadowbrook. Can I speak to him? Hello? What? Hey, 
Marty's dead. He killed himself. Oh, God. He told me that his father was going to pick him up. The whole family was going to have a big party for him. Marty didn't have a dad. He lived alone with his grandmother in a trailer park. <sighs> he told me that everything was going to be okay. He wasn't ready to go. Listen, whatever problems he had, they only got worse in here. As far as they're concerned, the only thing he suffered from was insurance deficiency syndrome. They shouldn't have let him out. It happens all the time. I'm sorry. Michelle, we have to go get Laura. They won't release her without your signature. I'm busy right now. We can just come back some other time. It's all right. He's leaving. I have people here. This is my work. What is more important? Your work or our daughter? Will you excuse me? Michelle! This is not the time to talk about Laura's problem. Well, maybe the problem isn't with Laura. Oh, it's me, huh? I'm too demanding a perfect. Maybe, oh, maybe you are. I maybe want you too are. Much for my children, you know, somebody has to want something. From I mean, them. what do you think I'm doing? I raised those kids. I made life out of nothing. Where the hell were you? Oh, fine. Why don't you admit you married a man who couldn't live up to your expectations? I guess your girlfriends probably have lower expectations, right? But I, I, I deserve better. We're just gonna leave our card. No, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, please. Look, the attendant's gonna be by in a minute. Just go back to your room. No, I wanna go in with you. Unless you want me to go get the attendant, we can both explain to him why we're standing out here. Take down those files right up there. What are we looking for? Anything with a dollar amount. The billing records. Stuff like this here. See this amount here, $860? This is their actual cost of medication for one patient from the weeks 86 to 819. This is what they billed the insurance company. $2,600? Insurance fraud. Grab those files up there. Why aren't you trying to bust them for all the other stuff that goes on in here, the way they put your kids? Those complaints have to be filed as malpractice suits and nearly impossible to win. The way to beat them is to expose the fraud. When the insurance companies stop paying, this place goes out of business. People I collected who are taking kickback money for referrals, school administrators, counselors, teachers, they're on the take. Dale Carlson is my guidance counselor. Not bad, he's nine grand richer than he was a year ago. I get this into the right hands, this place goes out of business. Who are you? Really? My real name is Jason. I'm not really 17. I work for Nora Field. She's the one that got me in here to try to get enough evidence. like you have some explaining to do. Why don't you wait outside? Hmm? Well, do you want to tell me what you were looking for? I was just looking around and the door was open.
Peterson. Colin James, nickname CJ. What are you going to do with me? I don't know. You'll go to restraint while I'm deciding. It's clear that you've become a danger, not only to yourself, but to others. After all, starting a fire in the records office is a serious crime. It's a good thing I caught it in time. Saving this for Laura. I wanted our beautiful baby girl to wear this at her wedding. Oh, Robert, what happened? How, how did I push everybody away? Was I so terrible? Oh, it wasn't just you. I, I, I wanted it to be perfect. Some of us just can't be perfect. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry for a lot of things, but... But it's too late. I don't know. I don't know, but we can't let our problems destroy our kids any longer. We've got to save our family. I don't know how to do that. Gotta start by getting Laura out of that place. Sorry, Laura? I'm still stuck here in Meadowbrook. I can't wait to get out of this place. Oh, Laura, right. How are you? Okay, I guess. Um, seems like ages since we've talked. Yeah, ages. Hey, is Jason there? Jason, no. Um, Jason stepped out. He's not in trouble again, is he? No, not, not trouble. It's just he, he went out. He'll be back in a little while. I'll tell him that you... Called. Great. Your birthday's coming up. I haven't forgotten. I have something for you. Jason helped me pick it out, but I guess he won't be able to get it to you until I get out. Um. Uh, listen, my time's up. I have to go. No, uh, Laura, just wait a minute, okay? No, I really should go. I I'll call you again. Laura? Okay. Gladys, uh, call the district attorney's office. I I'm getting the police. How can all of last month's billing records be gone? I don't understand this. I told you, I don't know where they are. You're lying. You've hidden them somewhere. Even if I did know, why would I tell you now that I know the real scam that goes on in this place? Scam? We provide a service here. We save lives. So they need to justify ripping off insurance companies? If that's what it takes to stop one more kid from slitting his wrists, yes, that's how I justify it. All right, that's a winner. I'd love to be there to see you explain that one to the DA. Listen to me, you little punk. I don't know who you think you are, 
but one phone call from me and there is no more C.J. Peterson. You will spend the rest of your life in a padded room. You'll spend the rest of yours in a jail cell. You're going to tell me where the files are. Kiss my... <laughs> Hello. Your teleport's been waiting for over half an hour. I want everyone confined to their rooms. Dr. Winslow. Hi, I'm Mr. Sanders. I spoke to you on the telephone yesterday. Yes, Mr. Sanders. Sorry to kept you waiting. Dr. I... Winslow! We come for Laura. We want her out of here, with or without two signatures. Now, you lied to me. I checked. I did not. It's hospital policy to Fine. have two what, signals. Whatever. Where is she? Forgive me. Something has come up. Please excuse me. I'll be back in a few minutes to start the paperwork. Hey, don't walk away from me. We are not going to wait any longer. Mr. Mills. I will tell Miss Collins to start the release forms. nothing in here. I heard you talking to Dr. Winslow. Is there some kind of problem with this place that I should know about? I don't get it either. All I know is we got a signal down at the switching station that said the problem was coming from your cafeteria. Oh, yeah? I'm not going to wait for him. I want you to go get Laura. We haven't got all day. I don't know if I can do that. Oh, I think you can. Drop this. hiding drugs in her room. He's lying. I don't know what he's talking about. We're taking our daughter out of here now. Uh, this patient has a borderline personality disorder. She is a danger to herself and to everyone around her. Dr. Winslow, I want to see CJ. If you take her out of here now, you're going to Dr. be Dr. Winslow! We have a warrant to search these premises. What the hell is that all about in here? It's a long story. I'll tell you later. I don't know what to say. These things happen. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Yes.
You about ready? Yeah, almost. You know, you might want to leave some of this stuff. My place ain't that big. <laughs> Folks getting along any better? They're trying. So, what's the verdict on the college thing? I just told them then I needed some time to sort things out. Maybe I'll go next year. All right, let's do it. Do you want to take the TV? No need. Still got the one I stole from you guys. Right. So, Laura, I just want to make sure that you know that your father and I don't want you to go. Mom, leave it alone. It's her decision. I'm telling her how I feel about it. Mom, I it's her decision. That's the bottom line. Every time we have to... Would you guys please just stop fighting? <sighs> Let's get out of here. Wait, 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 wait. This is ridiculous. You're right. I don't want to fight anymore. We've all made a lot of mistakes. We love you. Um, maybe you can come by for dinner this weekend. Both of you. Mom's cooking. <laughs> Could be dangerous. I think we'd like that. 